This video provides active employees who are eligible for retirement and under age 65, enrolled in a health insurance plan, and are not eligible for Medicare, with step-by-step -step instructions for selecting a health and dental vision plan and adding dependents at retirement. Within the retirement event application, this process continues with health plan selection. You may continue or cancel your health coverage. To cancel your coverage, select Cancel and click Save and Next to proceed to the next step. To continue with coverage, select Continue. You will be prompted to review and select a health insurance plan. To review a plan, click View Detail. Once the Plan Detail section expands, you can click About for an overview of the selected health plan. Click More Details to be redirected to the coverage page. Click Find a Provider to be redirected to the Provider page. Or, click Copay or Deductible to view Copay or Deductible and PCP information. Click Hide Detail to collapse the health plan details. Check the box next to the health plan you want to select. The effective date of your benefit selection will auto-populate. You will now be able to add dependents who are under 65 or 65 and older and not eligible for Medicare, and dependents who are 65 and older and eligible for Medicare. Dependents under 65 years old or 65 years and older not eligible for Medicare will automatically be enrolled in the same non-Medicare health insurance plan as you. If you are enrolling any dependents who are under age 65 or 65 and older and not eligible for Medicare, select Yes. The dependents will be enrolled in the same health plan as the member. Click Add a Dependent. If your dependent is 65 years or older, then after inputting your dependent's information, you will see the question for Medicare eligibility. Select No to confirm they are not eligible, then Add to continue. If your dependent is under 65, then you will not see the verification question, so you can simply click Add to continue. To add dependents who are 65 and older and eligible for Medicare, you will need to have their Medicare number and select Yes to the question. You will be prompted to review and select your dependent's Medicare insurance plan. Just as before, you can review plan details by clicking the View Detail, About, More Details, Find a Provider, and Copay or Deductible links. Click Hide Detail to collapse the Medicare plan details. Check the box next to the Medicare plan you want to select. Click Add a Dependent. At the bottom of the completed dependent form, select Yes to confirm eligibility for Medicare Part A and Part B. To proceed, you must confirm you have the Medicare number for your dependent and select Yes to enter it into the subsequent field. When done, click Add. To move on to the next step, click the Calculate Health Premium button. Then click Save and Next. If you are eligible, you will then make your dental plan selections. If you enroll in a dental plan, you can add dependents by clicking Add a dependent. Because we enter dependents into the health plan, we can choose from those existing dependents for our dental plan. When doing so, their information will auto-populate into the form. No Medicare eligibility questions will be asked for the dental plan. Click Save and Next to continue. Thank you for using my GIC Link Member Benefits Portal to take control of your GIC benefits.